It's 5.32 a.m. I'm starting a three day today. Today we have a 21 hour layover in Fresno. Josh is gonna try to come with me and we're gonna try to go to Yosemite National Park. It's like an hour and 20 minutes drive from Fresno. So we get in at like 9.45 in the morning and we rented a car. What's the name of the park that we're going to? We're going to Yosemite. Josh thought it was Yosemite <laughs> National Park. <laughs> this is only the second time you've come to work with me, right? Uh, second or third, but I'm pretty, yeah, I think you're right. I think it is second. the second. When was the first time? I remember. Guatemala. Oh yeah, that yeah. was so fun. And then you came on my Christmas trip last year, but you drove. Yeah, so couldn't make that it on the flight. Yeah, that doesn't count. I'm excited for you to see this airport. Is it a nice one? No, but it's cool, it's different. Is it as exciting as the carpet in Nashville? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get an ice brown sugar shaken espresso, but that drink is so hit or miss. Sometimes it'll be amazing and other times it's disgusting. The riskiest drink at Starbucks. Thank you. I'm excited. You excited? Yeah. Departures ticketing right there. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Boy. Doing so good. Yeah, I am. I'm crushing it. Yeah. We got a good shaken espresso, so you know it's gonna be a good day. We made it. Did you have a good flight? Yeah, it was amazing. The service was... Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, go. <laughs> is this the Rainforest Cafe? <laughs> no, this is not the Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> I've told Josh all about the Rainforest Cafe. Isn't this cool? Yeah, that is cool. It is 10.23 a.m. and we just got to our rental car and look at this. We've got a Texas toll tag in here. Okay, we stopped at Jersey Mike's really quick. We're gonna get some sandwiches. I'll do it like this so Cheers. it doesn't drip. I like this better than... Jimmy Shots? No. I keep seeing all over TikTok, people in San Francisco smashing into people's cars. Like they leave their car alone for like two seconds and people, you know, break the windows and take all their stuff. When we went in there, I was thinking about it and I was like oh, watching dang. the car. I know we're not in San Francisco, but still. Where are we? Fresco? Fresco? Fresno. I didn't realize this is Josh's very first national park. Sure is. In America. Mm -hmm. He's never uh, been to- And in the entire world. You've never been to a- Foreign national park In Romania? Uh-uh. You sure? Pretty sure. We got some maps and now we're fighting over what to do first. The weather is so beautiful. It really is. It's so nice out. We brought giant jackets. Yeah, Josh was like, you're gonna sweaters. need a coat. We just started our hike and I'm already so excited for the post hike pizza we're gonna eat. <laughs> okay, so we hiked up here to the dome, Sentinel Dome, and it's very underwhelming. I don't think it is. It's a huge sphere and it is a dome in case he's like, is this all that it is? Is this a dome? Like, Apparently there's a bigger one around here somewhere. A half dome. But, but that is way overwhelming to me. We're not in Dallas anymore. No, we're definitely not in Dallas, but I'm not impressed. But I've seen a better dome. <laughs> I've seen a better dome. This is the view that I was promised on, on the internet. Okay, this ain't but it. You, are, you need to stop complaining. <laughs> Look where we are. That's got to be what this is. No, the dome's not out there. That's the dome. No, that's that not is a not dome. the same. That's, that's a half dome. There. Josh, you've never been to a national park. That is a half dome. But... <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, so thankfully we did not turn around. We were not at the end of the hike. That is the end of the hike. We can go to the top of the dome, we learned, because we saw people up there and they were like this big. So we thought it was gonna be like very hard to get up there, but it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, very glad that we didn't turn around because this view is so pretty. And then we also saw the half dome over that way. I lied. This is actually pretty dang steep. Okay, we made it to the very top. It's so pretty up here. The fact that we almost stopped here, <laughs> we thought this was the end. Yeah, I that was convinced be... that was the dome in case he was crazy. And he was just like, what do you mean? Why are you not impressed with that? <laughs> Thank you. 
We saw this little pizza place when we pulled into the park, and so I think that's where we're gonna stop. Do you remember the name of the place? No. But it was a perfect day in the park. The weather was amazing. And I mean, we did like two pretty easy hikes. So it was kind of, I mean, it was a half day. We got here at like one o'clock. We got the annual national park pass. So for a year, we can go to any national park in the US. Sydney and I got this a few years ago and we used it. I mean, we went to so many national parks. It was awesome. So it was like $70 to get into the park and then like $80 for a year long pass to any national park. So we were like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to Niagara Falls this weekend. I have a long Buffalo layover and Josh is gonna come with me. And so I was like, oh, perfect. We'll use that this weekend when we go to Niagara Falls. And Niagara Falls is not a national park, it's a state park. So I'm so disappointed that we don't get to use it. Okay, we found our pizza place. Oh, little bear. So cute. Okay, this place is so cute and I'm shocked that it's empty, but also the pizza looks amazing. This looks like a good slice of salmon. Yes. <laughs> okay, we are stopping to get gas. Five dollars and thirty-five cents a gallon. It's so insane. Thirty-two fifty-five for six gallons. <laughs> We're almost to the hotel. Hopefully, it's not too early of a morning, but the flight is at what do we say? Eight a.m. Eight oh three a.m. So we'll have to board at like seven thirty. So we just parked at the hotel, and I was like, we should probably clean up a little bit because we're probably not going to want to do it in the morning. So I grabbed a bunch of our trash and threw it away at the up at the hotel lobby. I looked in to the lobby area and I was like this looks really nice this doesn't look like where we usually stay like did they update it or something we're at the wrong hotel one weird thing about me is I always watch forensic files on my layovers so at home Josh and I will watch murder shows but he will want to watch forensic files and I'm like no that is my special like layover thing that I do by myself so today Josh was so excited he was like do we get to watch Forensic Files? For some reason, I just I just can't watch it at home. I don't know. It's very weird, but Josh was really excited that we got to I watch was. Forensic Files together. <laughs> Our van time in the morning is at 6.45 or 6.48 a.m., but we're not doing that, obviously, because we have to take the car back. We're probably going to leave here a little bit earlier than that, drop off the car, get some coffee, and then we're going back to Dallas, but it's this is a three day, so I'm going back through Dallas tomorrow, but then we go to Vegas tomorrow night. We tried to take some Polaroid pictures yesterday, and we think something's wrong with our Polaroid camera because we popped out two at once and they came out like this, and then, I don't know, these just aren't looking, especially this one, something's wrong. They're still pretty cute. 627 we're on our way to the airport to drop off the car it actually is a little bit chilly this morning so i'm glad i had this jacket flight is at 803 so we're gonna be boarding around like 7 30 and i also want to get a coffee yesterday i didn't see a starbucks but there used to be at least there used to be a starbucks in fresno airport so hopefully we can stop and get a little coffee but i slept great did you i did yeah we were exhausted yesterday oh and the pizza was amazing and we have a ton of leftovers. I and mean, if you don't want to take it home, I'll take it to Vegas. I'll just eat pizza all day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's kind of nice to be early, it's 6.40. Okay, we're going over to Terminal D for our next flight. And Josh doesn't want to come to Vegas with me. He wants to go home. That's too expensive, there's nothing for me there. Nothing good happened. I'm there. I'll be there. You're right. I should go, but I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is 7 p.m. now. We got to our hotel in Vegas like a few hours ago, but I just came straight to my room and relaxed for a little bit, called Josh, called my parents, and I just showered and got ready for bed. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick little room tour and then go straight to bed because our van time in the morning is at 5 a.m. I've been to this hotel many times before, but I've never been in a room like this. This one's very different. So you walk in, here's the door, and then the bathroom is here and the bedroom is over on this side um, and the bathroom first of all just has a curtain um, instead of a door so this is the bathroom you've got the shower in there and the toilets in there and then here is the bedroom area so these walls both these walls are like big tapestries so it's like it's not a painting on the wall or anything it's just like a big tapestry over the wall so you've got miss girl looking at you there which 
is a little bit creepy to me. I don't know. And then you've got this big white couch over here. And then you've got this wall that's also a big tapestry. And I guess it didn't fit perfectly <laughs> because there is this big gap over here. And this little edge of the tapestry, this arch here, and then this little part is just, just dangling down. Good morning, it's 4.12. Our band time is at 5.03, but I'm gonna go down there a little bit early. The hotel gave us a little voucher for a free coffee and it's Starbucks downstairs. I go down there a little bit early, make sure I get a free coffee and I'm definitely gonna need one because um, today's a three leg day, we're going from here back to Dallas and then we do a New Orleans turn. I'm so excited to go home. I think hiking the other day kind of wore me out a little bit. I'm pretty sore and I'm just ready to go home. And I really miss Josh on this layover. I really wanted him to come with me, but this really wasn't a long enough layover to go out and really do anything. And it's such an early morning today that I don't blame him for going home. I've been loving my new Hourglass Jellyfish palette. I got it like as soon as it came out because I've heard so many good things about the Hourglass palettes and I've never had one. And this one is really good. It's got bronzer, blush, highlighter, and two finishing powders. It's just a really beautiful palette. So I've really been liking it. It's definitely pricey, but it's got like almost everything I need to do my makeup when I'm traveling. It's nice to have just that one thing instead of a bunch of different little things. What time is it? Okay, 4.23. Okay, so I got a venti iced brown sugar shaken espresso, but the voucher that they gave us only goes for hot coffees. But I got $6 off, which the fact that it's over $6 is crazy, but, but I still had to pay $4. I literally saved the receipt because I was like, nobody's gonna believe me. This was $10. Like, what the heck? And there's also no one in line, so I really didn't need to come down here this early, but I'm just gonna relax here for a second before we have to go.